Since April, the COVID-19 Response and Recovery Fund for Idaho has given more than $1.3 million to the community organizations throughout our state. The money, focused on helping vulnerable and low-income families, our Lindsay Amundsen looks at its impact. We had 16 families in the shelter. Um, we had a, a daycare full of babies, 35 babies over in the daycare, and we had all of our housing facilities. It, it, we, did, we didn't know how we were going to survive. Advocates Against Family Violence received over $23,000 in grants that helped them continue their mission to eliminate violence. This money helped them purchase enough cleaning supplies. We've always taken pride in maintaining an extremely clean shelter and a, and a clean facility, but we really upped the game <laughs> during this time. And so it went to an every hour on the hour cleaning routine. It also helped them switch to telehealth services so people could still receive therapy from their counselor. We upped our technology supplies for her so that she would be able to, to continue serving those. and. She actually, because of telehealth, has served more through her counseling program. Idaho's Community Foundation partnering with United Way made these grants possible. As COVID-19 began to spread, we immediately pulled together a partnership because we knew that Idaho's most vulnerable populations were going to need help and we could provide assistance to the organizations that help those populations. They served 115 organizations, but for AAFB, without the grant, they wouldn't have been able to continue their services, especially with the increase in domestic violence cases they experienced during quarantine. We didn't know how we were going to survive, honestly, and so when we were able to receive this funding and basically use it for whatever we needed to use it for to help us through this pandemic, it, it was a lifesaver. Lindsay Amundsen, Idaho News 6.